I'm Harvey Hubble. Here at Chanticleer Acres, we love planting and growing all sorts of healthy foods and herbs, even mushrooms. Early this year, we started inoculating thousands of mushroom spores. Thousands. Many of these have immune boosting qualities. There's lots of ways to do it with various techniques. We're gonna show you three of the ways we've done it. Inoculating logs, stumps, and beds in the ground. Here's Jerry to give us a quick how-to for inoculating logs. I'm Jerry Morshell, I'm from Kent, Connecticut. I grow mushrooms and I build houses. I started out with foraging for chaga and various other wild species, and then I wanted to learn how to grow them. There's like all sorts of layers of dirt and old pollen and spores that are stuck to the bark. So it's good to spray that all off, get the logs wet, and then I come along with the flamethrower and just kind of heat treat the surface of the bark. In the process, it dries the log, and then you can start drilling holes on a clean surface with clean bark. We're gonna open up one species and inoculate them all, label them all, and then wax them all before we move on. I mean, you can inoculate log links up to six feet, and it's kind of like the industry standard doing between 30 and 42 inches, because it fits on a pallet nicely, and it just makes a lot of sense to keep it in that range. Try to contact someone where you can get trees without having to take down living ones. Make the use of wood that's already been down, or it's coming down. It's more resourceful, you feed people, instead of it rotting in the woods. That's the best way to do it. There's so much to learn about the art of living a healthy life. That's what we do here. So come grow with us at Chanticleer Acres in Litchfield, Connecticut. It's easy to stay in touch with us. Follow, like, and subscribe. YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. We plant seeds, dreams, and know-how. Seeds in the soil, where wisdom grows.